Hi everyone, um, thank you for tuning in. I wanted to do a quick video. Um, I actually wanted to do a response to um, uh, Dr. P, Dr. Pigeon. Um, I heard him say how, um, uh, alluding to how uh, the chapter in Second Estras that I addressed today um, could be an open contradiction, contradiction to Scripture in saying that um, because our Bibles say the Lord's mercy endures forever and Second Estrus talks about at the White Throne Judgment um, there will be no mercy, things will just be black, things will just be what they are and uh, God will judge and um, I meditated on that and I, and I received and I just you know revelation hit so I just wanted to share so what does it mean that the Lord's mercy endures forever? Um, a lot of us, like myself, thought like uh, God is forever merciful. And um, that's just not the case. Um, what we see taught in the scriptures um, is exactly uh, the definition of the Lord's mercy endures forever. Now a lot of people might not receive this because some people still think we're bound to the law and a lot of people have different doctrinal beliefs but I'm just going to lay it out um, and I'm not an expert I don't have the scriptures to back this up I'm just spitballing here so um, there, were di there are different ages in our Bibles um, the time in Ad of Adam and Eve and then there was the fall and then Noah's flood came and around the time of Abraham was like the age of chaos and um, and then finally when Moses came um, the law came to get to bring people back to order and then hallelujah Jesus came and um, and that started the age of grace now this is backed up by the Dead Sea Scrolls we can find this stuff in our Bibles there are different ages and uh, we are right now in the age of grace why are we in the age of grace? Because we are still in the sin, the sin of Adam and Eve. Um, we have the redemptive blood of Messiah, so we're not bound by the law, and we are running on God's grace. We can't do anything ourselves. We can't, we can't stand by the Lord by our own righteousness. Now it's interesting when you read, when you study the prophecies and God's plan for us, like in Revelation, from from the millennial reign to the time of uh, the white throne judgment to the everlasting kingdom um, we are heading into the millennial reign we're expecting to head into the millennial reign sometime eventually soon I mean we're up for the great tribulation first but then we'll come the millennial reign and think about it you cannot get into the millennial reign unless you receive Jesus Christ and his blood you cannot enter the kingdom without receiving Jesus and um Jesus is the Lord's mercy and when we receive Jesus we enter into the millennial reign and the millennial reign will end and after the millennial reign there will be another refining and then the white throne judgment and um, and so on and so forth and then the everlasting kingdom which comes down from heaven comes so and, and this is wonderfully spelt out in the book of second Estrus, by the way I mean you have to read the whole book um, if you really want to understand this stuff in your heart, um, how God, why so many people will likely um, not get saved, and why so few people are saved for the everlasting kingdom. Um, it's a hard, you know, Ezra asked God these questions, and he got the answer. So you really have to read the book. But anyway, getting back to the point of this video, think about the scripture now. The Lord's mercy endures forever. The blood of Jesus is the Lord's mercy in layman's terms okay you cannot get into the kingdom without the blood without receiving Christ as your Savior so and yes the millennial reign will come the millennial reign will end in the everlasting kingdom think about it. the Lord's mercy endures forever it doesn't mean God is forever merciful it means his mercy which we know now endures forever those who receive Jesus and and 
um, stick to the blood of the Messiah and keep his commandments endure forever the Lord's mercy endures forever so that was something um, you know I meditated on that I was thinking about what he said and I was like wow no 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 it, it means exactly what the scriptures say so um, it's pretty cool I don't know I know a lot of people might not receive that but um, think about it it's pretty cool the Lord's mercy endures forever God bless you